Hello everyone, welcome to Geek and Mac. Microsoft has officially announced that all new Microsoft accounts will be passwordless by default from now onwards. In case you have old Microsoft account and would like to go passwordless, then in this video I will show you how to make your existing Microsoft account passwordless. If you find this video useful in any way, like this video and subscribe the channel. Before you start learning the steps, I am recording this tutorial on Mac, but the procedure is same on Windows PCs as well. Next, make sure to download and install Microsoft Authenticator app on your Android or iOS device. The app is available on both app stores for free. In the app, you just need to log in using Microsoft account to complete the setup. Once done, open your browser and visit this page and log in using your Microsoft account. Switch to security tab on the left. and then click manage how I sign in. Scroll down to additional security section and click on the turn on link under passwordless account off. On this dialog box, click next. Now request to remove Microsoft account password will be sent to Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone. Just follow the instructions, give the permission and click done. At this point, you have successfully made Microsoft account login passwordless. Let's try how this thing works. I'm going to log out of my Microsoft account and try to log in again. Once you enter email ID and click next, this time you will see this dialog box. Now you can use Authenticator app to log in, in which you need to tap on the same code on the phone that appear on the screen. Alternatively, you can click on use your face, fingerprint, pin, security key. If your PC support any of these features, then you can use the one to log in. My device support fingerprint, so I'm going to log in using that. If your device support face logins or you have created security key USB, you can use it as well. Just like that on your Windows PC, whatever feature you have set up under Windows Hello, you can log in using that. So that's all about how to make Microsoft account passwordless. I hope this helps. What is your opinion about Microsoft account passwordless logins? Are you going to use this feature? Let me know in the comments. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel to get notifications about more similar videos. Thanks for watching.